हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी माहौर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जूअलॉजी श्री सामलियाजी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज मनफिया चित्तौड़गढ़ टुडे माय टॉपिक इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाज ऑफ ऑल यू कैलोटिक सेल्स व्हिच प्रोड्यूसेस एडिनोसाइन ट्राइफॉस्फेट दैट इज एटीपी व्हिच इज द मेन एनर्जी मॉलिक्यूल यूज्ड बाय द सेल so here this is the diagram of cell here you can see mitochondria uh mitochondria are also called chondrosomes they are the powerhouse of the cell because they are engaged in the production of energy by oxidative respiration they are found in all eukaryotic cells they are oxygen consuming ribbon shaped cellular organelles floating free throughout the cell and why they are known as powerhouse of the cell because they supply all the necessary biological energy to the cell by oxidizing the substrate available substrate over here means glucose if glucose is available then by enzymatic oxidation of glucose in the mitochondria will release energy mitochondria are evidently found on those sites where energy is unnecessarily required like sperm cells muscle cells liver cells etc in liver cell they are found up to 1600 in number microvilli also they are found in good number in oocyte uh, there are about more than 3 lakh mitochondria so their number in a cell depends upon the metabolic state of the cell and they are more numerous in the cell which are active in energy production like muscle liver cells microvilli oocytes now history in 1880 mitochondria were discovered disc, discovered by colico from the flight muscles of insects but in 1890 mitochondria were first described by richard altman and he called them bioplast in 1897 the uh, c benda coined the term mitochondria mitochondria because they are thread or rod like structure mito means thread and chondrin means granules in flight muscles of insects uh, the number of mitochondria is about 4 lakh to 5 lakh uh, they are however absent from mature mammalian rbcs now structure mitochondria are mobile plastic organelles that have a double membrane structure and it ranges from 0.5 mm to 1 mm in diameter they have four distinct domains first is outer membrane inner membrane intermembrane space and the matrix so here you can see outer membrane this is and this yellow one is a inner membrane then there is a intermembrane space the blue one here so the sorry the red one this is a between outer and inner it's a intermembrane space and the blue one is a mitochondrial matrix so again this is a the red one or we can say orange one is the outer membrane then the yellow one is inner membrane and between inner and outer there is a space which is known as intermembrane space and the blue part is a matrix so first outer membrane it is a smooth membrane and it resembles more with a plasma membrane in structure and chemical composition so they are uh, they have more phospholipids that is phosphatidylcholine and cholesterol Uh, 
uh, and they, they in outer membrane there are porins which allow small molecules to be exchanged between the cytoplasm and the intermembrane space if outer membrane of mitochondria is removed then this structure is known as mitoplasm means mitochondria without outer membrane is known as mitoplast now inner membrane it's a markedly folded or tubular and it has many folds like crista so here you can see this is a folded part crista they increase surface area of the membrane crista contains racket shaped f1 particle yeah crista have f1 particle that contain atps enzyme which are used for atp synthesis crista encloses the matrix so you, you can see the this part is covered by crista crista is rich in many enzymes coenzymes and components of electron transport chain which is used for oxidative phosphorylation inner membrane is stuffed with a pin head particles called oxisomes or elementary particles or f1 f0 particles these particles were first described by pandit fernandez fernandez morin the head of oxisome composed of atps enzyme and they are concerned with the oxidative phosphorylation so it contain many permeable protein for the transport of various molecules like citrates adp phosphate and atp inner membrane is a completely impermeable even to small molecules with the exception of o2 co2 and s2 there are numerous transporters in it which ensure the important export of important metabolites both mitochondrial membrane that is outer membrane and the inner membrane are very rich in protein each membrane is a 30 or oh sorry each membrane is 6 is uh, 60 to 75 angstrom thick and they are separated by space which is called intermembrane space which is of about 80 to 1100 angstrom uh, um, um, phospholipid in the inner membrane is mainly diphosphatidyl glycerol and inner membrane have more protein then intermembrane space it is located between the inner and outer membrane and it is the same composition as that of the cell cytoplasm there is a difference in the protein contained in the intermembrane space so intermembrane space is about 80 to 100 angstrom and this space is also called perimitochondrial space and this space have enzymes required for oxidation of fats and pyruvic acid. Now mitochondrial matrix. It is a viscous fluid that contains a mixture of enzymes and protein. It contains soluble enzymes of the Krebs cycle which helps in oxidizing the acetyl coenzyme A to produce carbon dioxide, uh, water and hydrogen ions and the produced hydrogen ion reduces the molecules of NAD and FAT and both of which pass on hydrogen ion to respiratory or ETC that is electron transport chain where oxidative phosphorylation takes place and which helps in generating energy rich ATP molecules. Mitochondria also contain in their matrix single or double circular or double stranded DNA. Mitochondrial DNA is called as mitochondrial DNA that is empty DNA. Mitochondrial matrix also contains 55 as ribosomes and they are known as mitoribosomes. Mitochondria can synthesis 10% of their protein in their own protein synthetic machinery. Hence, they are also considered as semi-autonomous organelles. So, this is a outer membrane. The yellow one is the inner membrane. 
and between inner and outer there is a space which is known as inner intermembrane space and the blue part is a matrix and here you can see DNA and the dot dot like structures are ribosomes you can see granules over here so this is all about the structure of mitochondria the number and shape of the mitochondria as well as the number of crystal they have are differ can differ widely from one cell type to another tissue with extensive oxidative metabolism like heart muscles have a mitochondria with particularly large number of crystal now functions of mitochondria the most important function is to produce energy through the process of oxidative phosphorylation it produces molecule adenosine triphosphate which is one of the cell energy's currencies and it provide energy to drive a host of cellular reactions and mechanisms so it is involved in a krebs cycle electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation krebs cycle involves the complete oxidation of acetyl coenzyme to carbon dioxide and production of reduced coenzyme like fads2 and nadh plus h plus and it involves in electron transport system and oxidative phosphorylation where transfer of electron takes place from reduced coenzyme via a number of via a number of electron carrier to oxygen and which results in the production of atp so this is the main function of mitochondria that is a oxidative phosphorylation now the second function is it regulates the metabolic activity of the cell it promotes the growth of new cell and cell multiplication it helps in detoxifying ammonia in the liver cells it plays very important role in apoptosis which is known as programmed cell death it is responsible for building certain parts of the blood and various hormones like testosterone and estrogen it also helps in maintaining an uh, adequate concentration of calcium ions within the compartments of the cell it is also involved in various cellular activities like cellular differentiation cell signaling cell senescence, senescence controlling uh, cell cycle and cell growth Uh, mitochondria also help in vitelligenesis in oocytes mitochondrial kinase which is one of the enzyme present in the mitochondria it makes the yolk viscous and it is insoluble for a longer duration storage and mitochondria of oocyte also called as yolk nuclei nibbankan uh, nibbankan found in sperm is formed by mitochondria mitochondria has also uh have important role in cytoplasmic inheritance they are known as semi autonomous organelles because they contain their own dna and ribosomes so they are sometimes compared with a prokaryotic cell or cell within a cell so mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell or atp mill in cell it is a cell within cell and it is the second largest organelle it is also known as cell funnels or storage batteries it is the most busiest and active organelle in the cell and it is also known as semi autonomous cell organelle so this is a very important organelle found in the cell so today i discuss what is mitochondria is a membrane bound organelle then why it is known as powerhouse of the cell and where they are evidently found then who discovered mitochondria colica discovered mitochondria but named by, by named as a bioplast by richard altman and the banda coined the term mitochondria then structure it is a main four parts its outer membrane inner membrane intermembrane space and the matrix
then function the main function is to produce energy and which which uh, which is through process of oxidative phosphorylation so this is all about mitochondria thank you